I'm going to try and paint this uh, going from, uh, uh, I've already got my light, so I'm going to paint that light. I'm going to paint it very uh, subtly. So I, I'm going to paint it in uh, warms and cools, and I'm going to let those uh, mix together. Uh, so uh, there's some uh, of my cool coming up, and here's some of my, I can paint right through this, but I want to leave a little bit uh, of this uh, because I want to put some, uh, leave that white paper for these uh, uh, mountains, a little bit of it. And I want to keep that sky pretty simple, but I do want to uh, put a little bit of that color down here uh, in some of these uh, rocks in this water because this water is reflecting uh, that sky. It's also reflecting all this uh, fall uh, uh, color but I want to use this as a uh, underpainting. And I'm also going to use Mr. Gravity. So now I'm painting at an angle, which is uh, going to uh, make watercolor work. Uh, let's see, I do not think that I have any of that uh, quinacridone gold on my palette, so I'm going to uh, paint some of this uh, warmth uh, in these uh, trees, and I'm going to paint some of this, and I'm going to uh, be fairly loose with this uh, color, let a little bit of that warmth go through here. And I know I've got some of it in these uh, trees. Even though they're green trees, I've got some of them. Warm color. And I want all these connect. I, I consider this a, a large shape and I'm connecting these shapes. Uh, so I'm going to use a little bit of uh, this uh, purpley kind of color, and I'm going to let that uh, connect. I'm not painting just uh, this shape and this shape and this shape. I'm painting all of these shapes so they connect. I'm kind of wandering along in here, uh, trying to uh, get my palette uh, decided. I'm using a fairly broad range, but I'm still staying in uh, cool and uh, warm. And I've got my cool connected by the top and the bottom of this. And I'll put a little bit of this uh, over in uh, this, these uh, uh, deep woods. Uh, in fact, I'll just do that now. So that makes a little better uh, uh, connection, if you will. And uh, also back in these uh, uh, mountain shapes. That's going to stay fairly warm. That seems to have a nice uh, uh, balance uh, to it. I'm going to use a little bit of the uh, side of my brush uh, for just a little texture uh, going down that uh, bank. 
and uh, I see that I have a little bit of that happening down here. So you can see that I'm going from uh, light uh, values into darker values. And uh, I'm going to combine a little bit of that blue and that purple together, I think, to uh, give me uh, a range, uh, a little more purple maybe, uh, back in uh, these mountains. I'll make these uh, darker later on. I see that I do have a little uh, of this uh, Getting kind of a green, and I am going to use this brighter green. This is a little, I was going to use a viridian, but I think I'm going to use this a bright green going down here. And uh, again, uh, connecting the, the shapes. I like the way uh, these are uh, connecting. And I am going to stay with a little bit of that warm palette. Uh, start defining a little bit of these uh, greens up in here. And that's where I'm going to start using the uh, Viridian the bluer green yes cool and also a uh, darker in uh, value hey joe the paper in your left hand is kind of blocking your where i'm painting there you go. okay so the light's coming from the left so I am going to concentrate on uh, making this. I'm going to use some of that uh, Viridian and I'm going to use some uh, purple in that too uh, to make it uh, a little uh, uh, darker to show the light. Now I'm starting to increase my uh, values and I'm going to stay more on the uh, cool side for some of this, some uh, cobalt uh, mixed with my greens that I just had in there.
fairly natural, kind of, sort of. I'm trying to show the uh, light uh, coming down through here. And uh, I should have put some of this lighter green in here at the beginning, but uh, we'll just do it now. So that way we can go back and uh, add a few uh, darks into that. I'm going to kind of mix some of those uh, greens that we had going uh, before together to kind of make an olive -y, uh drab. And start painting this uh, shoreline a little bit more uh, precisely. Again, it's uh, not about the color, it's about the value of the color. We're getting there. I want to make uh, want to add some of this uh, purple in here, uh, and as a, a dark. So in some of these uh, rock shapes over here and these little uh, twig uh, things that are happening. And I'm going to pick up this uh, purple uh, up in here too. Uh, just uh, It's more about the value than the color in these guys. I'm going to also add a little bit to uh, this side of uh, this tree. Uh, 
to kind of reinforce that uh, light a little bit more. I think this could be uh, slightly uh, warmer, so I'm going to make that a little bit warmer. And uh, this is a little bit distracting, but we're going to color up this a little bit. I'm using the side of my brush once again. Uh, adding a little bit of this uh, golden texture in this uh, light uh, coming through here and uh, here and uh, here a little bit here and when we get down into uh, some of this uh, water just reflecting some of those guys Now I can go back with a little bit of that. Uh, I'm going to add a little uh, purple uh, to neutralize that yellow I just put on, that yellow-orange. It's actually a good color for uh, this. And now what seems to be uh, darks in here really isn't dark yet. So I'm going to add some uh, darks to make this thing pop and then we'll be done. So I know we're going to have some uh, darks coming along in here. And uh, that helps. I know we're also going to have some of these darks uh, defining this uh, little guy and uh, going up into this uh, mountain. A little bluer than that, uh, but I'm just going to leave it. For now, I'm just doing this little uh, study, if you will. Keep the side of that, uh, those trees. I still want all these things to uh, connect. I'm going to reserve uh, judgment on that little guy later on.
and I'm just looking up top to where that, uh, what's reflecting here? What is reflecting here? Getting pretty close. This is uh, pretty much mo most of the information that uh, I need to proceed. And you're still using the uh, same uh, brush uh, so it's this big and it's this small so I can uh, uh, use quite a bit of uh, I have a lot of options to uh, go for it in here I'm going to make a little more separation in this uh, uh, bank. There we go. And that led to a very light color. So now what I want to do is I want to take uh, I want to take uh, the tape off to uh, I'm going to put a couple little uh, lifts right here to make that look more watery. Wow, that works pretty good. And uh, so now I'll take the tape off so I can actually look at this and uh, see what we have. Then I can make adjustments. And I've already painted this twice, so painting a larger version of this uh, I'm already familiar with, uh, so it should be very uh, doable. So I've gone from this to this which is my uh, value study and now we've gone from that to this which is my uh, color study so that's it for now